Hey there, it's Alina Wilson here from Exmate Mastery. And today I want to talk about the different view properties in Sketch. So it's been maybe a year or more, but back in the day, I was trying to show how many peers were assigned to a deck. So when you sketch a, a deck, you can frame that deck. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. And then I was trying to find out how many peers or supports were attached to that deck. And it wasn't showing me in Sketch in the 3D view, and I couldn't figure out why. And one of you, people who watch this channel have commented, hey, Alina, you got to turn up your view properties. I went, oh, I didn't know that was an option and learned that about this super view in Sketch. Now, uh, according to Chris over there in the Xactimate Ninjas group over on Facebook, he was talking about this a couple of days ago, there's now a photo realism checkbox. So I want to show you that option and what it does for you. So not only is there an option to turn up your detail to the super setting, you can also use this new photo realism. That's very interesting. So we're going to go take a look at that over to Xactimate. I'll show you all the details. So here I've sketched just a sample floor plan. This isn't a real house. I just threw some rooms together here. And you can see I've added in the bathroom, we've got a toilet, some vanities, a bathtub. If you don't know how to do that, you can go over to symbols. I don't want to go into that. That's not what this video is about. But you can go into the symbols section and you can actually put these into your um, sketch. But just know that by adding a bathtub, it's not adding the line item. So notice I don't have any line items added. It just looks cool and fancy. OK, so I've already done a lot of this work. I've also already added the planking and some concrete floors to this floor plan. So I'm going to show you in 3D. I'm going to hit three on my keyboard. So just to get you set up. This is how slick and shiny the new photorealism setting in Xactimate looks amazing. So if you look here, though, some things I think they're still working on. So whenever I place the toilet and the bathtub, it does have that photorealistic look, right? It looks like the bathtub and the toilet actually exist and the computer it looks really cool. However, uh, my vanities are still these green little boxes on the floor. So there were i think it's a work in progress with them getting all of these accessories up and running as far as you know what we're looking at with fixtures there in the bathroom also i had placed a grand piano right here in my estimate i'll show you i'll do that one more time if you go under furniture here again i'm under symbols and sketch it's right next to search under symbols and if i pick up the grand piano and place that there um, you'll see these settings that come into the window However, when I hit 3D, it's just a green box on the floor. It's not a cool looking piano or anything. So I think they're fixing that. They're coming out with and releasing some of these symbols as they go along. You can see it there on my screen. It looks like a grand piano, but not in the 3D view yet. So all of that being said, how do we turn on this photorealism? How do we make our 3D sketch look so cool? Well, all you need to do is right click in the blank space of the sketch and go to view properties. And then right here, this is what I'm talking about, the super and the photo realism. When you check that box, what happens is when you click on any room, this new properties window shows up. So the regular cog wheel here is your regular properties that you're used to seeing. However, your textures is a new little icon here that they've put placed in X1. So you can take off, I put concrete on the dining room just to see what it looked like. We could uh, then put, I don't know, stone and you can choose what stone look you want applied there. And then when you go to 3D, it should change. Now, my processor isn't keeping up and I'm having, yeah, see how it, it took a little while to think about it, but hopefully that won't happen to you. It'll pop right in, but this is taking a lot, a big toll on my processor or my graphics card. I'm not sure what causes that lag, but when I first was playing around with this, nothing was happening. Give your computer a couple minutes to kind of think about it when you start to play with these textures, because like you saw on my screen, it just took a little second for it to think about it. It's not that it's not working. It's just taking its time. So anyhow, uh, that is what the photorealism looks like in Sketch. It looks really slick and really cool. Uh, it'd be great to, you know, go ahead and save a view. You can save the view here by right clicking and we could just say 3D and uh, show it to our homeowner. That might be something fun you can do. And it's just a fun tool to play around with and something new that Xactimate's coming out with. And I think they'll keep updating those icons and roll out new ones as uh, you know this feature is being used more out in the field. And again, remember, it's not 
actually adding the bathtub to my estimate. It's not adding the flooring or any of the surfaces to my estimate. You saw that it also had the vinyl siding here. It's not adding that to the estimate. It just looks cool. Okay, so it's not actually doing anything that's practically going to help us right now uh, in the estimating process, but it does look really fun. The last thing I want to show you was that I mentioned that deck and how it wasn't showing the piers. So let me just do something really quick here. Go back to my view properties. Most of you, I believe it defaults to normal whenever you have a new project that you pull up. So the details I think is really usually set to normal. And so if we add that deck here, let me just throw one in there. We go to the properties and we go ahead and frame the deck or frame the railing. Um, and we want some footers here. We'll just add everything that does add material to your estimate okay just to clarify when i do that construction and that framing it does add the material however when you look at it in 3d it just looks like a flat plane it just you can't see any footers nothing's you know what's going on there well that's because of our view properties so if we go to that and go to super that is what will turn on the railing and then it will tell me show me how many you know footers it's going to have for it's a weird deck right it's not really connected to anything but just to show you the difference between the normal view and the the super view and then of course if you want that that photo realistic look because right now it doesn't look as slick and shiny as it did if we have the photo realism uh, selected there and then i just leave it at default there the theme default left click okay and then we've got that really super slick look but then our deck goes away. So, <laughs> you know, use this judiciously depending on what you want to see as far as the photorealism. Do you want to see the house and how cool it looks, or do we need to see what our deck is doing? So that's the difference between the two. I am not sure how useful that is right now because it doesn't really add the line items to our estimate, but it is a slick tool. It looks pretty cool to show our homeowner what their home would look like, you know, in the 3D modeling version there. And you can actually save the view, and which is cool. So Thanks for watching. And always, if you like this topic, please hit the like button below. It's like gold for my channel. And of course, subscribe if you want to see our weekly videos. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. And if you want to see our training for contractors that saves you time and gets you paid what you're worth, go to XM8Mastery.com. I hope you have a really great week in your business and I'll see you next week.